Welcome back to some more Tennessee Titans action here on Madden 24. Today we are going to be handling the game against the Baltimore Ravens who look super scary at a 93 uh, median across all areas of their team. We have a 93 offense so that is kind of nice but they have that on defense as well and uh, it's always a median calculation plus they have a superstar x-factor quarterback so that is going to be a challenging game for sure this week we're also going to be putting an end to the uh, negotiation saga with joe alt we're going to be taking care of the game plan elite qb of course we have to stop one of the league's top quarterbacks uh gonna be taking a look at the baltimore ravens they do weekly strategy upgrading players and then we are done <laughs> ready for the game to be honest i can't really wait i'm having so much fun playing right now a lot of thanks to you guys as well you're really making this one special for me uh, so thanks for that much appreciated looking at these players here everything's quite clear and set but joe alt still a big question mark on how we handle this one here um of course not uh, in terms of do we keep him because that is out of the window but more in terms of uh, how we handle his trade if we trade away uh, the option you will see all the teams are interested some are yellow but most teams really need a good player at that position if we were to go for get offers we would get quite a few interesting players uh, offered to us along with quite a few picks some of those are pretty abysmal i have to say like this one for the bears 30 year old a wide receiver plus a few picks here a 26 year old cornerback plus a few picks carry Elam 26 and again so you get a superstar left tackle that you can use all across the line if you need him um so basically i would be looking for someone that is of a similar age right quinian mitchell here looks interesting uh, on the other hand, I don't need a cornerback. Michael Pittman's out of the window. Chase Young, certainly not. Damani Jackson, 23. This could look interesting. Matthew Underwood, 22.79. This one is starting to look interesting. Plus a first rounder from the Miami Dolphins. This is interesting. Uh, we get a wide receiver here. Johnny Wilson, Diamond Lenoir. A lot of quality, of course. Smail Mondon Jr. This was the first one where I really went, hold up. This could be interesting, right? as a sort of successor to um to a seesaw share on the other hand i don't really mind him being around he doesn't cost that much money anyways um tyree kill interesting uh mccall hartman well lucas finesse certainly certainly interesting a good linebacker uh he's not that old cedric gray again a mid linebacker this one's got a superstar dev trade even so if, uh, if I were to pair him up with Kenneth Murray, use Henry to Otto as a backup, I think this could be a really interesting one. The big, big question mark always here is, I'm just going to show you the other ones as well. Puka always gets offered, by, uh, by the way. Uh, these are all not interesting anymore to me. Um, so if I were to return to, where is he the, here? Uh, Cedric Gray, you press counter offer square, and then you, I want to take a look at the player card. And then I want to take a look at the uh, at the contract details, and you can immediately see that he's cheap one year, and then he goes up quite a lot to 60.3. Again, it's not the worst deal. It really isn't the worst deal overall. Uh, he, I really feel like, of course, he is worth that. Um, but uh, yeah, total salary 32.8 plus a total bonus. It's a complete uh, complete package of around 80 mil. I don't really feel like we need to do that right now. So what I'd rather do is I'd really rather just uh, trade away um, Joe Alt and try to get uh, the best picks I can for uh, this situation. All right, that was quick. We get two first rounders and uh, we send Joe Alt to the Browns, offloading cap space, offloading all the pain um, of renegotiating here and we get a good round uh, good good haul here we get a first rounder for uh for last uh for last for this year and a first rounder for next year as well i'm pretty happy with that actually um we can get some interesting players in i'm looking for a mid linebacker i'm looking for um also looking for uh for edge rushers and uh, with that handled we're now going to be taking a look at the game plan elite qb Going up against Lamar Jackson is never an easy task for any defense to take on. What is the most important factor for success? Um, pass defense plus interception goal or a sacks goal. 
I think it has to be applying pressure. It all starts with pressure. If he has too much time to throw, we'll get torched like everybody else. But if you can apply pressure and make him uncomfortable, it gives you the best chance to slow him down. Bring the heat, beat the Ravens and have two plus sacks on defense. All right, we're gonna try and achieve that. So our defense will have plus five finesse and power moves this week. All right, we're gonna take that, of course. Any help is appreciated. First off, this has been handled. Next off, we're gonna be taking a look at the Baltimore Ravens. Quarterback, of course, still Lamar Jackson. We saw that before and 30 and 99. X factor trust rating so all of that is the 10th best quarterback in the league he's certainly one of the very scrambly ones he's very quick he's gonna move a lot but he can still really produce pinpoint passes so this is really gonna be a very tough game especially for our defense running back Trevin Henderson superstar day after 24 99 behind him Jamar Boone and Jalen Graham looking solid 78 78 that's actually not too bad the Trevin Henderson certainly the danger man here, best halfback in the league currently with a superstar Dave trade as well, which means he's got abilities that is going to be nasty to stop. Fullback, James Duff. Wide receivers, Zay Flaris, 26, 96, and Malachi Corley, 25 and 86, both of which look pretty good, especially Zay Flowers. So we've got an elite quarterback and he's got two fantastic um, receivers to go to. We also have got Xavier Gilroy, we've got Earl Wright and Christian Godfrey. These here are decent, solid backups, I would say, but these here are certainly the danger man. On tight end, Mark Andrews, still an X Factor, is still going strong. 31, 98, yak him up. Uh, yards after catch him up, basically. Eddie Booker, Ty Thornton, and Eddie Hardy, that's a rookie. So they're trying to refill this tight end room here as much as they can before Mark Andrews retires or gets bad. Um, certainly, it's going to be a drop-off here, but decent enough build-up. That's okay. On the offensive line, we've got Jack Nelson here. 25-88 behind him. Jonah Williams, super solid setup on left tackle. Left guard, Kevin Dodson, 30-82. and 82. Kevin Garrison and Brandon Richardson, two younger players. Very similar looking. Uh, certainly will not be able to step up uh, yet, but probably in the future. Good succession planning there. At center, Tyler Lindebaum's out injured 27-93, so Lance Ritchie will be taken over at center unless they slot in someone else from the offensive line. Right guard Morgan Light, 23-80, uh, looking pretty good for his age. 91 strength already, that is pretty nice. John Spencer, backup 65, nothing more than that. Right tackle Terrence Steele, 30-81, and, and Gregory Ledford, 27-68. All right, now that's that's a pretty good looking offensive line, good protection there. What about defense now? Trent Westbrook, 23-80, freaking one. All right, you would say, well, this is a solid dude. Dante Arnold is a backup. What's there to say? But Trent Westbrook, look at the stats, all right? Tackle, block shedding, and strength. Pair that with the acceleration and player recognition, and you've got a really nasty edge. Um, he's not fully developed yet, of course. He still has some time to grow. But that is a really, really good left edge. On right edge, we've got Shamar Turner, 25-77. Also coming in hot with an 85 strength rating. 89 uh, with that rating over there. Going to show you that in detail, by the way. Just, just go with this here. Uh, block shedding, of course. Tackle and acceleration. Again, another one of those that's going to come in uh, from the pincers. Josh Turner, a rookie. And Paul Paulson in here as backups. Uh, D-tackle, Travis Jones, 27-87, Matthew Smith, that's a rookie, and Dwight Toon, that's another rookie. Left outside linebacker is Odafi Obe, 28-91, and Tristan Beckton, a superstar, 22-80, Jesus freaking Christ. He is looking dangerous already. Personally, I'd just slap him in, uh, not want to put that to waste, but whatever. Good setup there. Roquan Smith, X Factor, reinforcement, uh, 30 and 99. Patrick Queen, 28 and 91. And Tony Turner, that's a rookie. This is a fantastic looking room. The linebackers are absolutely stacked. David Dujabo here as well, 27, 86. And Tim Roberson, 23 and 75. So the front three, probably not that stacked. It's 81, it's 77, and it's 87. But looking at the linebackers, this really is a very, very solid group of players. Cornerbacks, we've got Marlon Humphrey, 31 and 95. 
Thomas Cummings, 22 and 88. Very good CB1 and CB2. Um, and then we are looking at Darius Rush. We're looking at Jason Thornton and at Shamir Goldsbury, all of which are good backup players. Uh, but certainly Humphrey and Thomas Cummings are the stars of the show here. It was certainly making life very difficult for us. Free safety Marcus Williams, 30 and 89. Alfonso Tate as his backup and will be his replacement. And then we've also got the strong safeties. Kyle Hamilton, 26, 96. One of the best in the league in the game. Jason Muldrow, 23, 72. Kicker Justin Tucker. And the punter is Ryan Wright. So how do we convert that into a feasible weekly strategy we need a good game plan here uh, so let's take a look how do we handle this it's very interesting that they show spencer rattler here right and here it is gonna be uh, lamar jackson so of course the short passing we have to limit that that is our target we have to go with half pads today um why is neil wilcox up there do we have an injury that i don't know about all right we're gonna take a look at that uh anyways I think split training today is uh, is the best bet. I don't want to risk any injuries at any position. I don't care who's my starter. I don't care who's my backup player. That is certainly something that I don't want to see. Injuries could really, really throw us back quite badly. So we're going to go with a full split schedule for everyone. Just give everybody a very, very reasonable and, 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 and calm workout here. That is certainly my approach. So James Choice is getting a practice. Let's see. Jack Lindsley. All right. We know that. Adisa Isaac, Neil Wilcox, Deshaun Price. We want to train him up a little bit. James Choice. I feel like there is somebody else that we could give uh, some more training to. That would be probably benefiting a little bit more. Let's see. Patrick Paul. Nope. Eric Lynch. Well, probably Eric Lynch could benefit a little bit. On the other hand, that is not such a critical position. To be in David Presley is certainly also one that could benefit off training. Uh, just looking through here, Stephen Dalton, again, another one, but he won't be taken over that quickly anyways. Uh, Glenn Sprinkle, maybe, that's a big maybe. Um, Jalen Wilcox could benefit. Uh, Jill Peoples, Justin Patton. I think I'm gonna go with Justin Patton. I feel like he certainly would be the one to benefit the most. Plus, he's a starter already. Uh, then, let's see. We're going to get an interception. That is certainly something that will go for 20 points or less. All right, let's go 350. And then we will go for win the turnover battle. Let's just see if we can pull this one off. I like the look of this. George Temple will be returning next week. That is good. And Steven Marino uh, will be back in two weeks' time. Both are rookies, both got injured pretty early on in the season. That sucked, but everybody else is back, so that's fantastic. We certainly have to fix the uh, the depth chart. All right, that is something that we just have to do because it's going to be all over the place with the trades and all that happening. Chicky gets an upgrade, that's fantastic. Dylan Fletcher also gets an upgrade. He's just getting better and better. Very happy with him, to be honest. He only has a startup trade, but he's still just doing so well. Christian Fulton. Also, just my cornerback group is really, really improving quite a lot. Chris McAdams really doing very well. 85 already at age 24, right? Not 25. And he's more than capable of uh, picking up the slack if a tight Spears has to take a pause in a game. Dylan McMahon, we're going to be using him all across the line if we need to do that. Glenn Sprinkle, my left outside linebacker, also Looking very nice with the start of trade at age 25. Will Levis get some more upgrades. 85 now. It's a base 81, of course, at age 28. Jarvis Ford. He is. Uh, he. I actually had him planned as my successor uh, on the D tackle position, but then Jordan Hall just fell in my lap, and I mean, who who would I be to say no to that? I'd rather have two very good D tackles kind of competing for that spot than uh, you know just wasting that Neil Wilcox very nice power rusher here we go he's now at an 80 I don't think he'll be overtaking James Houston the fourth that quickly on the other hand I will be keeping an eye out for him 
and we're going to try and upgrade Dishon Price as much as we can. Um, I do think that he will be, um, he's going to be a star. I just have a feeling that he's going to be that. But uh, yeah, we're going to see how that turns out. I will now be taking care of the depth chart and then we're going to be uh, seeing each other again in the game. Welcome to Nissan Stadium here, home of the Tennessee Titans. Player spotlight, who's this going to be? Well, Lamar Jackson, who else? <laughs> 187 yards last week, three touchdowns, 20 and, uh, and 26. That's a very good completion rate right there. Traylon Burks showing off our current home option. All right, that is the uniform that I went for. As always at home, this is going to be our uh, home uniform this season. The Ravens just with the standard away uniform. And here come the Tennessee Titans, our team. Let's see what we can pull off here against a very, very good Baltimore Ravens team. I'm really breaking it a little bit. Coach Harbaugh, of course, in charge here for quite a while, I think. Now, Coach Radius, Will Levis getting ready here. Speaking with his offensive line players. We are going to be kicking. So, uh, number 22 getting ready here. That's Godfrey. And here come the Ravens, and we stop them now. That is a big deal. Great job at the 20, and here we go. Inside zone split. Let's start running it. Let's just test out the waters here. Again, game day factor. Accelerate slightly faster. Alrighty. I've got Rock One Smith here, but there's so many good players in here. Very tough players. Last week, I was talking about the Miami Dolphins fran uh, franchise. Miami Dolphins defense. And said they're a rather technical group, right? Very quick, very good to stop. Um, but on the contrary, we've got, uh, or on the other end of the spectrum, if you want to put it that way, we have um, very tough defenses like this one here. They're just really hard hitting, very fast, stop you in your tracks. So this is really... Um, I would say this is the more challenging one because the technical ones, they're just quick, they're fast, they can really get around you and, and do clever stuff. But these tough defenses are just so hard hitting, you really, really don't have a lot of time to get stuff done. Plus, when you're down, you're down. You can see it's incredibly hard to get, uh, get the distances done as Deshaun Price goes down with an injury here. Not happy to see that. Let's see it's nothing, uh, let's see if it's nothing bad. Keep our fingers crossed right here. Let's set up a, bun uh, a bunch, a bench, Jesus, man. I think I need another coffee or something. We're gonna go with this zone split week here. Or a bench, hmm. Let's try a bench, gonna look for Chig going out there. Very, very solid tackle. Yeesh. That's what I mean. When they get you, you're down and you're out and you're not getting up again. All right, we need to create some space here for Ty J. Spears. Let's go left here. Is there a gap? No, there's not. Jesus, number 93. Incredibly fast breakthrough. Wow. All right, Deshaun Price. All right, let's let's use Patrick Paul for the time being. We're going to set up verticals. I think we even lost some yards on that one. Kyle Phillips. That could be promising, but we have two very good linebackers just waiting to pick that ball there. And that is the end of the first quarter. Probably could have gotten the ball away there. Rushing yards, minus one. It's a hard, hard game. Monday night primetime. Last time we played was a, uh, a Thursday, I think. Set up a dagger. And that one's not going to work. At least not the primary route. I don't think Burks will be available. We're going to look for Chig. Oh my god. Oh, that one actually worked pretty well. Better than I... Better than I expected. When I threw the ball, I was like, ah oh, shit, he moved. The Chig got the ball and just got that extra yardage. Number 25 was a little bit off balance, but then, of course, Cummings is there to shove Chig out of bounds. 
and to get that one done. Let's go the halfback ISO left hand side run. Let's go. Let's go here. Boom. All right. We have to evade. We have to evade. I think the run game today will be extremely ineffective. Number 44, Marlon Humphrey has to take a seat on the physio's bench. Halfback off tackle. Do I like this play? It's going to be a wide one. Very dangerous with the X Factor over there. We're going to try it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I knew it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Five rushes, one yard. All right. Let's forget about the run game for the time being. I don't see this as ever being effective. Amari Rogers would be fantastic. Let's see if we can pull this one off here. Fantastic. Yes. Great job, Amari. He's just so, again, so reliable. So reliable. What's that? What's that? Get your hands off me, dude. Ball like a laser-guided missile. Number six was there, of course, to stop him. All right. Double slant setup. Can we fake him out here? Can we fake him out? Play action. Read. Let's try this one here. Chig will be coming over towards the left-hand side. Yeah, slapped away. Now, coverage was there. I was very focused on Chig. I didn't even see if anybody else was going to be available. Inside zone, slight curve. These usually work quite well. So let's go. We get a gap here. Uh, we get a first down. Fantastic job. Ty J Spears. Finally some yards, man. Finally some yards. He really, really had a lot of trouble getting going here. Two-minute whistle will be coming in a second. Here we go. Zero and zero. This is a not a high-scoring game, right? We will try to hit him with a touchdown. Of course, Roquan Smith. Dangerous in there. I will try to hit a Okonkwo, but he has to go through a Superstar and an X-Factor. Psych. Kyle Phillips. Probably could have gone around the outside here. Slow to get up now. Very slow to get up. Let's go with another vertical setup. I like that. If Chick is quick, we can hit him in the end zone. There we go. Tennessee Titans score and Chig celebrating behind the ref. Come on, defense. And that was too easy, man. That was too easy. We couldn't really use the clock to our advantage either. It was a score or a don't score a situation. But let's go here. Nice. Again. Levis and Chig are a dream come true with those vertical routes. He's just so effective. So effective. This one probably won't be, but we're going to try to hit him back there. Yeah, slapped away. Ah, incomplete. Clock is stopped at the 17 second mark. Roquan Smith. Just everywhere. But it was one of those routes uh, that had a different setup here again these usually work pretty well against a situation like this i'm jinxing it now it won't work i'm sure of that but if you have the linebacker lined up and you got one dude back there this is usually a pretty good one because it creates that space there and that is knocked out all right hard hit kyle hamilton looking very good actually good face scan good face scan Against this lineup, uh, against this setup here, I don't think it'll work as effectively. We will be giving it a go, though. Because it's just one of my more efficient uh, plays. Perfect. Timeout called. And we're going to try to hit him with a touchdown, of course. But you never know. It can also not work out. And uh, I don't know what that coach is doing. His mouth is closed, but he's gesturing wildly here 
and we're gonna try one more vertical all right six seconds do we get closer or do we pick the field goal the timeout will be called we still have a few hitting amari rogers back there would be perfect yeah but no timeout called one second on the clock nice <laughs> really nice all right let's go field goal time evan mcpherson out you come 34 yards there we go he's got the slow arc because of his x factor uh, his superstar ability kaboom there we go very nice and uh, the refs are saying it's good come on defense all right not happening at least we limit them to field goals so that is something we're still marching in stride here but this offense stopping this offense is going to be very hard breaking down this defense equally hard ah oh, but we do get it we do get a break here <laughs> right going around number 32 was like nah and then my foot is planted in your chest speed dig off we go let's see i think burks is the better option here let's try the verticals i've got spears or burks either one can work there we go. But with Levis, I can really go for the for the uh, more tricky throws without any problem. He's just that good. He is just that good. And Traylon Burks with the catches. But we just have to be prepared. Last season, we started out extremely well. Extremely well. And then all of a sudden... It all came crumbling down. And it was really disappointing. Let's go left here. Kaboom. Oh, there is. Oh, there was a touch, a slight slowdown. Tai J Spears working hard now. Eight rushes, 37 yards. Marcus Williams going crazy, man. Just crazy, man. Second and in inches. Let's go. Left hand side. Left hand side. Oh, there is some space here. Probably could have turned towards the outside. Amarius Mims. Very slow here. Injury timeout. Ah, going to the tunnels. That's never a good sign. Alright, let's set up double slants. And you know, out of this one, we can always try to go for. What's it gonna be? Do we try a vertical? Do we? Are we crazy? Let's try a vertical. Kyle Phillips on the aggressive route. I think I'm gonna go with Chig here. Ooh, that one was actually thrown pretty dangerously. Pretty dangerously. Let's go. Inside zone, left hand side. Tai J Spears. Roquan Smith is active. That is bad. And here we go. Fighting for yards, and we are in. We're not stopped down until we drop into the end zone. Come on, defense. And they just keep coming, man. Just keep on coming. All right, we have to play this clever now. We can't. Oh, that was actually. That was a good opening. That was a good opening. Second and four, six yards for Ty J Spears. Inside zone split, left hand side. Don't think that's the best one to go for. Let's go with the stick. Trail on Burks. There we go. Just stopping at the right time. Secure catch, first down. Clock keeps on ticking. And I think we have to work him with the clock now. We have to make sure that we that we get to use the two minutes, that we force him to use their timeouts. I just think that it has to be our attempt here, our game plan. First and ten. Using up the clock as best we can. There you go. Number 56. I need a stop. Now that is nice. Good, 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 good. And we're going to let ourselves be tackled here. Probably I could have gotten away. 
43 yards, 2 minutes. Does seem reasonable, right? I kind of just dipped through here. I would have maybe been through, but Roquan Smith, well, he was there. I did go off the speed stick, though, so. Let's see. I'm going to wait for the 2 minute mark. There we go. 2 minute warning. 17 versus 17. It was always going to be a very tight one. It was always going to be tight. All right. Let's go. Left hand side run. Mm. Second and three. That's actually not bad. That is actually not bad. Are they going to wait until we get into the red zone? Or what exactly are they waiting for with calling a timeout? I don't know. I don't know. But we, well, maybe they're waiting until it hits a minute or something like that. Just. But again, I, I, I'm fairly content with just wasting the time here, and uh, then just, just going for. Hmm. All right, third and one. Now they call it. I knew it. Bastards! You bastards! All right, we're going to go left. Just the first down is what I want to have to get that clock rolling. And we're stopped. Fourth and one. That is actually not fantastic. We're going to go with a halfback ISO now. Halfback ISO. Come on, dudes. Right hand side. Fourth and one. This is it. We need that. We need the first down and we get the first down. Nice. All right. Clock is moving again, unless they call a timeout, which they, of course, do. And now I just want to get it, keep it rolling, man. Just keep it rolling. Not about to quote uh, Limp Biscuit here. Just keep rolling. For those of you that don't know the band, look it up. They've got a few pretty cool ones. Pretty good songs in there. And there we go. All right, David Ajabo. Number 90, right wrist, injury timeout, frustration here, Jesus man, I love the bandana, that is looking pretty good, we're gonna go with, what is promising here, let's try 94 will, ah, oh, they were stacking up super tight, let's try an ISO, Tishan Price, crud man, those fucking injury timeouts, I, those are exactly what I don't need now, because that is kind of messing up my plan here, kind of messing up the plan, hmm, deep dive, I'm just looking through plays here, there we go Taiji Spears fights for that first down incredibly important incredibly important you might have noticed I just shut up completely on that one I completely shut up on that one because it was just time to be quiet and just let the game progress 19 seconds. I'm going to let that roll down a little bit now. As you might have guessed. Field goal is going to be enough for us here. We don't need to put ourselves at risk of being picked or anything. I'm not going to go for a throw here. So here we go. Straight run. And now we're going to stop the clock here. Four seconds to go. Time out. We're very close to their goal here. Quadricep strain. Let's just hope he's back next game. That's all I care about. I want to get a reveal on his death trade. That is incredibly important to me. And here we go. Evan McPherson with a slow arc due to his superstar ability. And we're going to win this Monday night primetime game against the Baltimore Ravens. A very hard team to beat. A very hard team to beat. But we get it done. Pure stubbornness and perseverance nothing more nothing less good performances though all around 
Not a standout game by anyone in particular, but just a good team effort. Well, Player stat time. Let's take a look here. 66% completion, 156 yards. I did go for a few passes. Those are the verticals, the long routes really work well. But uh, of course, of course, the completion rate goes down against a very good defense. On the rushing side, certainly Trevayan Henderson taking the crown here. 132 freaking rushing yards. 122 for Ty J. Spears. Chris McAdams also getting a yard. Malachi Corley minus one. On the receiving side, Chig was fantastic. He did have that one drop though, but not to worry. He was good. Got a touchdown. Xavier Gilroy, Mark Andrews, then Traylon Burks. Byron Rogers, Malachi Corley with a touchdown here. Everybody just chipping in a little bit here. No standout performances, as I said. All right, solo tackles. Thomas Cummings or Sonny Styles. You pick total tackles. Quite a few, actually. Quite a few tackles for loss as well. One sack by Jordan Hall. That's fantastic. Zero interceptions. And on the kicking side, Evan McPherson. said, perfect as always. Preparing for an offense led by Lamar Jackson probably results in a lot of sleepless nights. So getting this win must feel nice. What is the reply going to be? Definitely, he's a great player and anytime you're able to step up to that challenge, it's going to be a nice boost to the team's confidence. Alright, what buffs are we going to get here? Entire team, 1000 XP. Great job. Alright, I like that. I don't think we got the limit on the passing yards though. Uh, did we get that? Now we had to get two sacks and win. We got one sack. Alright, so that was the sack target. Uh, but yeah, looking good so far. Um, I think I think we've got the team down now for, for the time being. Um, we've got the trade deadline coming up next week against the Jags. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go dive into it, to be brutally honest. I don't really see any area of the team that just needs adjustment right now. Um, I really just want to have a reveal on uh, Deshaun Price here. Uh, but I feel pretty good uh, about that left tackle position. Um, if he's just a start if trade player, I will be using Presley um, because he's just a little bit higher rated. Apart from that, this is looking like a good solution to the problem that we were facing. Um, uh, we actually mixed and matched a little bit, but kept most of the team intact while still improving some positions like uh, like here with Amarius Mims. Um, yeah, Mike Kramer, this one's going to be interesting. So far, there hasn't been a game where I could just put him in and, and, and not really care too much about the result. Um, on defense, things are looking a little bit more uh, bronzy this season, I would like to say. Uh, we've got less start if trade players, of course, uh, even if we've got all these over here. Um, but yeah, it is... It is what it is. I'm pretty happy with that, though. Um, I feel like Justin Patton and Jill Peoples are good players for the future. Definitely very good. 22 years of age here. Neil Wilcox down there, 23 years of age. Adisa Isaac, 25. So younger players getting in here, replacing older players. And we still have the solidity of these ones here. The practice squad is still uh, open at one spot. Um, and then we're also building these players here. You can see the upgrades. This here would already be... 75 rated strong safety so i even think that we can lead, uh, let terrell Bujess go uh next season um because we will have a uh, rookie free safety that'll be available here we are trying to push for the super bowl again so we're not going to throw too many things out the window but still we have to get that progression going and this is a transitional year after all thank you so much for being here for joining me i really appreciate it um and yeah Thank you so, so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching. All of you, hope you're enjoying it. If you are, please drop a like. Please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And as always, thank you so much for being here. See you next time.